What if I told you that this is actually Windows 11? Windows 11, but it looks like Windows ME. So I'm pretty sure you know Windows ME. That operating system, which stands for Millennium Edition, which is also commonly known as Mystic Edition due to how terrible it was. But what if we combine one of the most hated operating systems of the 2000s with one of the most hated operating systems of the 2020s? Alright, so here we are booting into the operating system. Okay, so here we are at the desktop, and normally this would be widescreen, but I haven't done that. I haven't changed the resolution at the moment because I haven't installed VMware tools because there's a detail with this mod, and it's that for some reason it doesn't want to detect the virtual CD-ROM drive. So there's no way to install VMware tools from the CD-ROM drive. So you have to download VMware tools online. So, so you download VMware tools from here. I actually put the download link in my internet archive page as well, in case you want to check this out on your own. So here it is. So I'm going to install VMware tools right now. And yep, there we go. All right. So here we are now. So yeah, so here's the desktop. So as you can see, um, Windows ME shared pretty much uh, the whole user interface with Windows 2000. Obviously, there's some minor differences, but it's pretty much the same Windows 2000 UI poured over to the Windows 9X kernel. So is yeah, it you can see, for instance, with File Explorer. And now that we're here in File Explorer, well, you're going to take a look at some stuff over here. So there is Control Panel, which is a bit of a classic recreation of the control panel from Windows ME. So we got some classic control panel applets. So we have accessibility options. Also, we have, you know, at a uh, remove program. So we here, we also have the classic date and time applet, which looks uh, just like Windows ME display. Unfortunately, it has the same issue as my previous mods where it, running this would um, prompt like a gazillion error dialogues for whatever reason. Where did, it, where did it go? Oh, here it is. So yeah, and this has been modified to resemble Windows ME and we've got some Windows ME wallpapers over here. So for instance, we have Windows Millennium. Now, one problem with this is that first, number one, it only uh, accepts uh, .emp images. It only works well with bitmaps. And two, uh, if you're using a widescreen resolution, uh, the images will look like this. So we also have some screensavers. So we have 3D flower bots, we have 3D flying objects and some other classic um, Windows screensavers here as well. And we also have some Microsoft Plus screensavers, but they actually don't work. So yeah, they're just here for decoration, I guess. And we also have uh, the gaming options applet the internet options applet here as well, which resembles Windows ME and well, pretty much uh, any Windows version of this era because the Windows 98 ME and XP internet properties applet look pretty much the same. We also have a modified mouse properties uh, applet, which looks uh, pretty much like Windows ME. So uh, yeah, here it is. This is, uh, it's got some Windows ME bits on here. And also, it's also got the Windows ME cursor. So we also have the uh, classic Windows ME cursor because it looks a bit different from the standard cursor in Windows 2000 onwards. We've also got the power options applet over here and sounds and multimedia. The sounds tab looks just like Windows ME. So we've got the sound volume. Now, keep in mind that it's decorative. It doesn't work at all. Obviously, we've also got the system applet over here. So here it says Microsoft Windows ME. And here it says the actual build number just to prove that this is in fact Windows 11. That we've also got some Microsoft Plus themes. So opening this brings us the desktop themes um, window over here. And we have a huge variety of themes to choose from. My favorite one is inside your computer. So we're gonna apply that. Now, normally this would change the wallpaper as well, but it doesn't do that. It doesn't change the icons either. And I made sure that I had all the files present and it still doesn't do anything. But you know, the wallpaper is still present. You know, we can still go to the Microsoft Plus folder. Here it is, Plus Themes. And here it is, inside your computer wallpaper. So we're gonna set this as desktop background. 
and there we go now again this is a widescreen uh resolution so it's gonna look a bit off i guess we're gonna have to fix it somehow there we go so yeah i'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this for uh nostalgic uh purposes if you can call that nostalgic so yeah it looks pretty neat to be honest i kind of like it i really like this theme and also like the sounds look at this now moving on to the program side of things let's start off with this so you can see we have this uh msn messenger icon over here so yeah this does come with MSN Messenger version 2.2, just like Windows ME would. As you can tell, we also have Windows Media Player version 7. And yes, that does in fact work. We also have uh, Outlook Express. Now, this is not actually not Outlook Express 5. This is Outlook Express 6, but it's been modified to resemble Outlook Express 5. We also have a reskinned Mozilla Firefox, so you can open up modern web websites on here. And yeah, this is Firefox version 109, because that's the version which works the best with this theme. So yeah, as you know, there is also some classic programs. We have Pain, we have WordPad, we have Notepad here. We're going to also open about the About window. And yeah, so this is the Winbur from Windows ME. It looks exactly like Windows ME's About dialog over here. It's even, it's even got the system resources percentage. Now there's also some other neat touches here as well. So for instance, if we go to, um, let's say system restore. Now this is not the Windows Millennium Edition system restore because that doesn't work in here. But we have this image over here. Also here we have Windows Movie Maker. Yes, my friends, this is actually the Windows Movie Maker program from directly from Windows ME. We're gonna open up the tour. We also have some classic games, so for instance, we have uh, classic hearts. We have solitaire. We also have, uh, we have minesweeper. We have pinball, which loads up pretty quickly, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, and also if we press uh, control shift escape, we can open up the tasks uh, program from Windows 9X operating systems. And if you press uh, Control Alt End, you can also open this up right now. So yeah, so here's another detail. So here's the shutdown dialog, which has been modified to resemble Windows ME's, but it's not functional. If I press OK, it doesn't actually do anything. So you have to shut down the system from the control alt delete dialog by pressing control alt end so yeah this is a showcase of my windows 11 to me mod so here it is uh here's the credits of the software used in this mod and uh, with that said thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one